Hey guys, how's everybody doing? This is Casey Zeman. Um, I wanted to make a video today uh, about putting a widget on your website, on your web page. Um, I have a web page up right here. This is a sales page for um, some MMR products. And I think I want to put a timer. Oh, there it is right there. See that timer right there? Well, I'm going to show you how to install a timer which is really kind of cool. You know, it's the the benefit of the timer is that you can let people know when uh, you know a sale is going to close, when a deal is going to close, and it's and and it, in terms of the uh, it's it's a really powerful tool when you know you you have to convey to someone that the this deal will not last. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that very quickly, and it's really really simple, uh, and it's actually free at a website called widgetbox.com. So we're going to go into widgetbox.com and see what they got. Okay, here is and widgetbox.com is where we're at now. So, um, and you can see right here the uh, the different widgets that um, I've already kind of put together. So simply what you're going to do is le let's go into Let's see, widgets made, install widgets. Let's go into install widgets and see what we have here. Okay, uh, I've actually gone into uh, into the gallery because I wanted to show you what they have. Now you could do a Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, blog feed, any of these widgets, um, and, uh, and that would be fine. Uh, I would like to go into, let's see, where is the timer? Let's find that. Click on through. Countdown. Let's try countdown. See what we have here. All right. So I like the concept of a countdown. Let's let's go make that widget. All right. Loading up right now. Okay. So now here we are in Countdown Creator. And I have a pro account. You can have a basic account. The thing about basic, hold on. The thing about basic is that it's going to say get widget at the bottom. If you use a pro account and you say include, you, you want to click here because you don't want it to include that. Obviously, that's not what you're going for. Okay, so uh, widgetbox.com, here we go. Simply make uh, an event name, call it Casey's. Kate. Casey, hold on. Casey's uh, product uh, product launch, or let's say resale. Casey's product resale. All right, you know what I uh, so Casey's product. The will increase. All right, hold on. I'm going to write something good. Okay, so I just wrote, "Come and get it before the time runs out." And that until right above it, I can get, I can remove that. Um, but here's we go into advanced and we can start changing things around. You could change the font size to Georgia. You could do anything in here. The color. Click on the uh, the palette button and say you want blue. You go with blue and you're done. The event date. Um, so you choose the event date you know that you want so say like what I did on that website is I have a deal uh, uh, a deal where it's my products only sixty seven dollars till June fourteenth uh, and then it's going up to um, so tomorrow it's going to go up to ninety seven dollars and uh, and then it's going to go up to one hundred thirty seven dollars after the June 30th. So anyway, um, so you put the event date that you want, you know, like the 8th of June or something, and then, you know, the event time, um, so that the the clock knows exactly wh where it's counting down to. You could also choose a background picture if you wanted to. Um, I think I'll just go with something like this, like the orange background theme. It's a little weird. Let's try blue or br purpley black um, or red even 
let's just go for red uh, and you have uh, options here flip analog digital you have uh, so th this is kind of be creative do do your own thing get 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 busy down get down get crazy do your thing uh, final message oh and you've su a subtitle this is really important if you don't want that until there you gotta remove it and you want to link to a website chances are if you're putting this on your website you don't really want a link but maybe if you're embedding it somewhere else on somebody else's website as like a little widget then you probably would want it linked up to whatever sque uh, sales page squeeze page website that you'd want so um, I like it like that so I'm gonna save widget and as you saw up here you could go digital analog flip whatever you guys want to do okay alright so now it's saved widget gallery page setting permalink come and get it list in the gallery and you want to describe it test I'm gonna say test countdown so I know who which what it is and add thumbnail okay uh, you know what I don't need to add a thumbnail it would just be like a picture of me or something like that okay so did that work let's see Publish, publish changes. May have to do this, this part of it over. And let's look in my widgets. Okay, let's go into my wi widget box to see if it was saved in there. Come and get it before the time runs out. I think that's it. So let's and plus it's on the, today's date. Let's click on there. Okay, so. Oh, here we go, right at the bottom. Here it is. Okay, get widget installed. That's what we want. All right, so we're going to click on that. And it should be the embed code. And they actually give you an option of where you might want to embed it. And, um, you know, if it's Facebook, they're saying, hey, go ahead and embed that on Facebook. I'm just simply going to take it and put it on my website. So we copy of course you could just use this button wait hold on one second let's try that again get widget installed so push copy more widgets you might like no you don't need that it's co code copied so now you copied it so now what I'm gonna do is go into my HTML editor okay which is my you know where I can edit my website with this editor now, some of you might know what that is um, and for those that don't it is uh, it's where you can uh, create a web a website it's where you create a website very much similar to like a uh, a word document you create it in this kind of uh, this kind of software this kind of application and then what you do is you upload it onto the web. It's very simple actually. It's not as hard as everyone thinks it is. So I'm going to now um, put a box on my site. Okay. So now what I what I like to do and let's see, let's decide where I'm going to put that. I think I'm going to put it right here. And uh, what I what I like to do is okay first I've centered it. So I went to the center button right there and centered it. And uh, this is a little trick that I learned that you want to put a few a bunch of X's where you want to put your your uh, whatever you're embedding okay whether it is a widget like we're doing here or if it's an opt-in box you know a subscription box whatever X's in this form okay on this in this when you're viewing it um, from the HTML side because when you go into source okay watch what happens things look like they're in HTML as you can see this is all code right here so it's really hard to find where you you know where you want to embed if you don't make those X's this is the same thing as what we were looking at it's just a different way of looking at it it's it's all of that it's the same page just look it we're looking at it in code and as you can see right here here's those X's that we were talking about so all you gotta do is just you know go from the top 